My name is Marilyn Proctor Gibbons, and I'm an art and design teacher here at Lincoln High School. I've been here about 30 years, and uh, the courses that I teach range from Digital Design 1 through Digital Design 4, and beginning art and advanced art. What's happened over the years is uh, technology has come into play in the art field, and so that's basically what this course does. It teaches them how to use technology to advance themselves in the careers that are now available out there in the fields of art, animation, uh, digital publishing. And that's what we do here in this classroom. She's a good teacher. She likes jumping around, helping everybody any way she can. We usually help each other. So if someone has, is really good at like SketchUp, which is what I was working at, I asked my friend to help me out and I was able to finish my project. I just got it. Like I did not know how to do it and I just got it. We're starting off with the school and we're helping all the clubs and stuff like that and we're learning how to make the logos for the clubs and once we're practiced and we're done with that and we get the idea of how things work and what people want and how to produce that and things like that, then we'll go out and be able to do that as a job and get paid for it. What we want them to leave Lincoln High School with in our career tech education program is certifications in Adobe software. Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere, InDesign, and in Flash. Yeah, it's really just like, kind of like a, like a metal almost, like, but for art. <laughs> At this level, we are working not only for ourselves, we're working for the community, we're working for the school. So we are developing flyers and logos, we are uh, developing t-shirts for the community. Doing like tags for clubs and sports and stuff like that, and posters around the school. It's different, it's not a normal class. You come in here and you don't go right to a teacher and report back, you go and you get on your project and you do what you have to do and it's like, it's easier a lot of responsibility. Kids don't realize that uh, making something three-dimensional is as simple as starting with something flat and then we have software that does the flat graphic but then we have a software package that then extrudes it and makes it more dimensional and then once that happens all of a sudden we've got the printer that can actually execute that last final print which makes the actual object dimensional. Uh, 3D printing it's a lot harder than a lot of people think it is because you've got to know how to do perspective and everything else like that and the tools are very complicated to use. We've, we've gotten away from just simply just printing things on paper. We want to take that thing that they've created and make it alive. And so the 3D printer does that as well as the silk screening press. And then it goes to that room and we create it. We make it into the screen and we print it and put it on the shirt. And then once they get that shirt, their friends start asking about that shirt. And so then they start making them more shirts. You know, they want to create something with for meaning. You know, they want to wear that thing that they've created. So all of those play a part in what we do and what we create in the classroom and then that kid starts making money because he's selling them to his friends for five or ten dollars a shirt, you know. And so it just, it creates responsibility. And it gives that, gives the kid the idea. He's like, wow, I just did that, you know. Earlier it was just a thought and I only thought I was going to make one for me. But now I can make several and make money off of it. So when they leave here, they have enough skills to go out and maybe start their own business. They don't have to necessarily work with someone. They can work part-time for themselves as they work with someone. But they have enough skills that they can go out and work.